Hey everybody, it's Jade on Piano where we make music make sense. And today we are doing another song, another song. Uh, so take care. We're going to do No Whipping, Fred Hammond today. Okay, so let's talk about this song. This is in A flat. I did a video last week where we did um, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power, Andre Crouch. Go back and check that video out if you haven't or if you don't know how to play the song the right way with that dominant chord on the three. But today we're doing No Weapon. I was inspired to do No Weapon because I went to the Festival of Praise last night and, and they say, and he sang a little bit of this. Right. So I was really thinking about that and trying to play the melody all at the same time. But the song is really simple. So let's just grab the chords really quick. It's A flat. And uh, you can double it up like that. A flat chord. Uh, e flat chord, first inversion. See that? F minor uh, 7. E flat, uh, regular root position. And then D flat uh, root position. So just playing that in the left hand. And then A flat first inversion. Notice I have just two notes down here and then uh, the A flat, B flat. This is me playing this, but you could also play it like that. Either one of those works, right? Or play them together. See that? And then we have a B flat chord. And I was walking in between the notes, but those are the chords. Oh, the, the verse. Uh, there's a specific part I want to get to. Uh, and then we got another special. This is a dominant chord. D flat major. Okay, there we go. We've seen these chords. I'm off on my melody. Let me play that better from here. Let me do. Hmm. There we go. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, those are all the chords to the song, okay? No weapon formed against us. Now, when he does the little bit of a bridge, and let me play just the, the part really quick. Or, I want to do it like that. Right? Then we go here. So you only play it twice. Okay. Now, let's talk about that section, that bridge. I want to talk about that because it we we go out of the key. So what what happens here, right? Let's deal with that because that may be the part that people have the most trouble trying to figure out. So let's go back to the first thing. This first chord, if you just need the simple G flat um 
seven chord i'm adding the nine to it or sus as they're calling it but you know either way i have the nine in here um and it's a g flat chord this does not belong in the key of a flat that's okay and then we have this chord this doesn't belong in the key of a flat either we have an f minor in the key of a flat okay we have this now i'm gonna skip these two for a moment and we go right here this b flat minor okay this is an a flat this is an a flat not an a flat and then we go here c minor seven flat five not an a flat and i'm making this suspended to go here f7 b flat a flat g flat and then i suspended this that puts us back in a flat so what's happening there let me show you right now where most of that is coming from a way you can easily see where all this is and that's why i showed you the target chords now my uh graph there is or uh, sheet music there is showing you the staff that's what it's called it's called a staff um the staff is showing you the key of a flat because that's our key but when the minute we add this g flat in here we have to treat that section of the song as if it's in d flat because and unfortunately for us d flat and a flat share the same exact notes except for I'm not trying to be a jaws movie or anything but those two notes right there the g flat and the g are the only two notes that are different between those keys in the key of d flat we have a g flat in the key of a flat we have a g so as soon as we introduce this we know we're in a different place okay and in this case like i said it's d flat okay so when we're on this chord right we're he's we're, we're treating this as as if we're in that key now d flat let's go a step further uh so it can help us um really kind of bring this into focus i don't want to just say d flat i want to say b flat minor now if you know anything about theory you know d flat major and b flat minor are relative keys meaning they are closely related only difference is the order of the notes in d flat major it has d flat e flat f g flat a flat b flat c d flat and it starts on d flat it has the same exact notes for b flat minor except it starts on a b flat so b flat c d flat e flat f g flat a flat b flat see that it just starts in a different place same note so they're related keys um i want to call this uh, looking at d flat and then in a deeper sense b flat minor why am i saying that the primary reason i'm thinking of it that way is this second chord here this is an f chord it is not um present in the key of d flat but the rules of a minor key say that the five is dominant even in a minor key well guess what f is the five of what if you know what f is the five of go ahead and type it in the comments before i say it in about five seconds four three two one bonus second here it comes f is the five of the b flat and that's what we have so um that's where we're going so we're going to b flat minor that's the chord we went to you see that right there so it makes sense for us to have this key but as soon as we got this dominant right here it made me feel like this was our resolution right and then we do this deal here that's giving us the two if we're looking at that b flat minor here's our dominant again right right b flat minor and then when we're here let's check this out and then i'm going to add those other two parts back in um these two notes let me just change one note
and I'm gonna put the now I'm gonna change too. See that? Got my E flat chord in there. What's E flat the dominant of? Yep. If you're thinking A flat, yes, we're back in A flat. So even just we're on this chord. See that? So it puts us back in the key. Now we're back in E or uh, back in A flat. Now let's add those other two chords in of the walk up for this part of the song. Here we are. Uh, okay. Where did they come from? Now, we already identified that we want to kind of look at this between D flat and B flat, somewhere in there, which is cool. But if I go a step further and also use the thought process from B flat major, it gives me that little walk up. What do I mean? Let's get the notes of B flat major. See that? Those are the notes. And look at this right here in particular. The E flat is the four chord. The F is the five chord like we mentioned a minute ago. But look what I'm playing. E flat, F, and then I'm playing B flat. I just haven't made a major or minor yet, but this case, we go to a minor. So we're on our, our five, okay? And instead of going to B flat major, we go to B flat minor. You see that? Okay. So that's kind of giving us that section there where we're using that knowledge of what we can get from f uh, the five of a key to a one or a, a one tonality in this case which is the b flat and then use that walk up to get there we're very used to that sound then he did he, he basically did it twice and at the end of that whole thing he went to the e flat so we have all the the uh chords of the song we played the song we've analyzed it what other songs uh, use this My worship is for real. Uh. I'm using the same kind of thoughts here. I went to the end. That G flat, right? Right. We use that in that song. Um, um, off of the top of my, oh, uh, uh, right. I had to think which chord it was. And if I jump to the end, okay, so why am I showing that this? And I'm really showing you this chord here, but again giving you that G flat we're, we're using this thought process of D flat even though these chords are different than that uh, that would be <sighs> you can either look at this as as uh, the A flat chord it's showing you the A flat with the, the third sorry the seventh in the bass right and just walking it down so that would be 5-1. See that? Just from that part of it alone. This kind of goes further that we're not even dealing with in the scope of this video. But I see this as coming from a Mixolydian flat 6 place. Right? So anyway, those songs um, kind of use 
that that G flat idea that we're borrowing from the thought process or the key or the tonality of D flat or B flat minor. And and Fred Hammond way back in the day, way ahead of his time, way, 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 way ahead of his time, putting that in his song here. And, you know, that is probably part of the song that we have the most trouble with, right? That bridge. Mostly everybody else is going to be able to play most of that song but we have the the chords here so i hope this was helpful for you um that you're able to you know glean from this how we're connecting a couple of keys and using them seamlessly with the melodies that we already have in the keys that we're in so you know just a thought process taken straight from a song that we already know and love you guys take care and have a blessed week